What is going on everybody? Sorry for the delay in videos posting. We've been really busy here on the property. And one of those things we've been doing is growing grass or trying to grow grass. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is hooking up that two inch trash pump from Harbor Freight to a normal sprinkler system. I didn't know if you could do this. So I looked up on YouTube and I started looking around online and people were doing it, but they kind of left out that little important part like what is needed to do it and can this pump do it without any additional adjustments to the pump. So of course the big thing that comes to mind is this thing pushes a massive amounts of water uh, in relation to what a normal hose does. But the water pressure doesn't seem to be different. Now, I didn't know if you could block the pump on the water pump and still have it run, like if there was a bypass valve, uh, or I still don't. However, I do know that this does work without any modification to the actual pump housing itself. You will need a couple little pieces and I'll show you what I did. It's Frankenstein, so bear with me. But if you have a better way of doing this, go ahead and post them down in the comments. We're going from a two inch hose down to a normal garden hose, which might be like five eighths garden hose, which is your normal garden hose. So I went down to the parts store and I put together this Frankenstein. All right, so what we have here is a Frankenstein. If you look at this, this thing seems crazy, but it actually does uh, a lot that I need it to. So first off, it's good for when I'm putting chemicals or wanting to spray the pond. I did it earlier. It's like a fire hose, man. I'll tell you what, this thing shot all the way across the pond. But let me go over what this is so you guys could uh, possibly go and pick this up and build something like this yourself. This is a two inch standard adapter with a screw. Uh, it is the only thread size that I've seen. So this just screwed right onto the tip. No questions asked, so don't worry about the thread on that. But this is a two inch uh, female coupler. And then you got a two inch reducer down to an inch and a half reducer. And then the next piece here is a inch and a half reducer down to a three quarter inch reducer. The three quarter inch reducer is a threaded three quarter inch reducer. And then it has a threaded three quarter inch thread to a three quarter inch pipe. Now this three quarter inch PVC pipe is two feet long. I picked it up. I did not cut it and that's why I put it together looking like this ginormous thing. On the very end of this, I have the same adapter on the other from the other side, a three quarter inch to a three quarter inch thread. This thread happens to screw right into the end of the hose. So I can screw the hose onto this and then run the hose to the sprinkler system and the sprinkler system actually works guys it's kind of crazy let's go ahead and hook up the hose to this and show you guys how this connects how it looks and then we're going to start this up and i'm going to show you that it literally just works all right so we have our garden hose and then we have this crazy little contraption that i just went over you with this little adapt this big adapter piece is connected to the flat hose two inch hose that you would pick up from harbor freight for the two inch trash pump and it just screws right into the pvc pipe and like i said before the end adapter will go into a basic or standard hose and it just screws right on no problem now this is a little loose it does spray a little bit it leaks a little bit but it gets the job done so let's go ahead and let's turn on the pump and see what we got. All right, so there it is. It seems to be working. I have the pump on low, just for reference, but the pump seems to be working. It seems to be spraying just fine. Again, the garden hose, it leaks a little bit here, but it's just water from the, the pond, so I'm not too worried about it. The pump is on low, it's just idling, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it up and see what happens.
All right, so I turned it up about uh, about a quarter away of what the pump is, and this thing is just pumping away. I don't see any issue at all. Guys, I think this is gonna work just fine for anybody's use. The big question is, if I take that off of there and then I hook up the normal, like a hand, the hand tool, I can't think of it right now, post it down in the comments, but if I hook it up to the hand piece and then I don't use it, what will happen to the pump? Does it have a bypass? Is it gonna break? But this is pretty cool. Uh, this works literally with doing nothing to the pump and it pumps it right down into a normal hose and then right into a sprinkler system. Again, I seen this video posted on YouTube all over the place, but it didn't really address the simple question that I had. Will my pump do it without any modification? And the answer is yes, it seems like it is yes. All right, so now the question is, will it work with this? Will it work on and off? And what will happen if I don't use it and I just let it sit there? All right, so here's the deal. I have it hooked up to the hose. I'm going to start the pump on low, have the handle fully open and see what happens. We know guys from the sprinkler system, obviously this is going to work. But what will happen when we take it off? That is the big question. So you might be saying, Justin, you're an idiot. We, I knew that, like we all knew that. I, I'm gonna say I didn't. I did not know that that pump would do that. So now I know, and hopefully you know, that you can hook up your two inch trash pump or just, I'm gonna assume that you can go across the board with these type of pumps from Harbor Freight or whoever sells them, that you can go from that pump to an adapter to a normal hose to a sprinkler system for irrigation. In this case, it is irrigation on some form. I need to water some grass and get some grass going. This means I can go over to my garden on this side and do that. And I can also, eventually, we're gonna be putting a garden over there, an actual like tilled garden with a tractor. And I could irrigate that too as well. Um, this is a great little like find that I, I seen online and I'm glad that I figured it out and it put it went together so easy guys it was super easy so now I can I'm actually more happy uh, that I can clean my four-wheeler and tractor off here instead of doing it at home so my neighbors don't get mad at me and my neighborhood when there's a mud river running down down the road so I hope this helped you out if you had any doubts or maybe you didn't even know that you could do this Go ahead and please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about what I just did, about the pump or anything about the channel, go ahead and post them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, get outside and stay safe.